Hi everyone. So a bit of context, um, as you know from my page, my sites, whatever, um, I like the retro Peugeots, the older stuff, the classics, antiques. Um, I have a 403 Peugeot 1957. My aim is to very much put a tr bike in the back of the truck. So today I'm actually um, excitedly off to go and get another old vintage moped. I already have a AV89 um, Mobiletti, Mobi, um, to go in the back with the good looking patina. Uh, this bike is incredibly so much rougher than that bike. My aim is to go and meet the guy I've been chatting to on Facebook Marketplace. I'm currently two hours into a six hour round trip to pick up the bike. When I'm then back, um, I want to put it in the garage uh, and then look at the two, compare them, get some good beauty shots uh, and then start restoring it. So come with me, I'll carry on and see you soon. Thanks all. Right guys, nearly there. Had to stop off, get some coffee. I'll keep you posted. Quick sneak peek. As you can see, it is collected in the back of the van. What you can see is it's got all the cool pinstriping, some of the original logos. It's gonna be a good fun resto project. Welcome back. Um, what I wanted to do now is now we've picked up this that you probably saw from earlier in the video is I want to kind of start just looking at the bike, understanding how bad the condition is. I'm pretty sure from conversations with the buyer that it's surface rust, but I want to kind of have a good go over the bike. I've been soaking it for a couple of days now since it's been back in the garage and WD-40 and all sorts. Um, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. Uh, we're going to do kind of a patina restoration go through the bike bit by bit i'll probably do half the bike and then do the other half of the bike so we can see the comparisons so as you can probably see from this side of the video i've got another vintage motorbike or motorhead as they call them uh they've kind of done a light patina restaurant before so i'll probably put some beauties in the video around here of those uh, and then also just a bit of background you can probably see behind me there's various bits and peugeots and automotive bits and pieces. I'll put a couple of pictures of those up in some detailed beauty shots. But that just give you an idea of what we're doing. But right, let's get into it. Uh, and then I'll keep you posted with a bit of a time lapse between those, what we're doing on the bike. Thanks all. Cheers. Bye bye. So as I mentioned, we've got the Peugeot Bimmer here. I think it's a 55, 56. What I want to do from looking at it is kind of see if we can get some of the surface kind of rust and corrosion off. I've tried on a couple of little bits just with some WD-40 and some wire wool or kind of a, a brush 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 to kind of clean that down. Um, I think it's going to come up quite nice. I want to try and keep as much of the original patina as possible. Um, so literally I've soaked a couple of bits. I think what I'm going to do though is just kind of do a bit of a time lapse of me giving it a go. I think I'm going to try WD-40, as I mentioned, some triple zero wild wool, and then we're pretty much just going to get into it. Uh, let's go.
So as you can see, I mentioned there's kind of a lot of surface rust. What I want to do is get a lot of this off to kind of bring the gold pinstriping back and the two different contrasting greens. I think a lot of this will come off with just some gentle kind of rubbing and persuasion. There's some bits like the logo I'm going to be really careful of so we don't kind of rub that off. I want to kind of maintain as much of that original paint as I can. And also here on the seat stem, there's like the Persia logo. I want to make sure we don't kind of disturb too much of that and get that as looking as good as we can. Right. Let's give it a go. And what you can see so far is if we start kind of giving that a bit of a spray clean it down, it's bringing back that kind of original green color, but also keeping a lot of the patina. I think if we just gently keep going like this, it should bring back quite a nice finish on it and maintain some of that kind of original battle scars of the paint and the history of the vehicle. So let's keep going and see how good we can get it looking. it seems to be going fairly well i think next i'm going to have to take some bits off like the luggage rack i guess you call it like the pannier bag area and put the saddle just so i can get into where everything else is but if you see now quickly it's starting to kind of come back to get a lot more of the original paint so i think we're just going to carry on and see where we get to check back in in a bit So, as you can see, I've changed clothes. That must mean it's the next day. I pretty much, the other day, carried on from where I was. I started just going through the whole bike with some really fine wire wool, um, just using kind of like a WD-40 or kind of rust remover. Sometimes with a wire brush, just kind of as gently as possible to remove all the top coat of rust, patina, just to kind of get back to see where we were. Um, I'll give you a quick show so you can see what it looks like. So hopefully you can already see the improvement. So we've got much more of the colour popping. You can see the gold pinstripings coming back. Apologies, the lighting's quite poor in here. It's currently tipping down with rain and very late in the evening. But you can see we've got a lot more of the contrast. We've got the dark green and the gold back here. And then the light green is kind of a lot more of the colour has come out as we've been kind of just slightly agitating and removing that surface rust. And you can see on the tank, we've actually got a bit of a shine coming back. I mean, you can see right now there's the blue around the silver Persia logo. You've got the good contrast between the greens and the gold. Uh, I've started having a quick go on the front mudguard here. It's got some good gold on the pinstripe. My plan is to pretty much go over this again, but this time much more fine, just so you can, I can kind of, get the rest of the rust off as much as possible without kind of taking it through to bare metal. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more of the color popping and uh, yeah, should start looking good. I think the next plan will be now though, is probably to get the wheels and tires off. As you can see, they are completely knackered. It will also give me better access to the mud guards under the tank and all the kind of front fork area. So I think next is strip the wheels off, get the headlamp off, probably get the bars off and start cleaning those. My plan with the wheels is pretty much just to see what's left after we've got all the old chrome off and the rust off. Maybe they need to be powder coated or re-chromed. But yeah, let's go from there guys and speak in a minute. So as you can see from the time lapse, I've managed to get the wheels off. 
Um, the back one actually fought in one I thought it would. There was some wire around one of the cables, which was attached to where the brake line goes, with like a kind of weird clip. Um, that's now off. I think we've got a lot more access now to get into the parts about the wheels in the way. I will just show the wheels quickly though. I think it is safe to say that these tyres and inner tubes, especially this one off the front, has seen better days. I would hazard a guess that this is a very early, if not the original white tire that was on there with the period inner tube. I would guess from a bit of Googling that these need to have kind of period correct white wall tires on, a bit like the Moby, they're filthy dirty. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is get the tires and the inner tubes off, check the condition of the wheels, make sure none of the spokes are rusted out on the inside. Yeah, and then back to it. I'm pretty sure we've done all we can do today. The wheels are off. They're soaking in some anti-rust, kind of like acid remover, just to kind of get the worst off. Uh, I'll probably give them a quick rinse just to make sure that's not on there too long, and then we'll see the condition of the wheels. But I think for this kind of video, this episode, we're done. In the next video, my aim is to kind of strip off the fairings, see the condition of all the crank and all the engine and the exhaust system, give that a really good clean up on one side and make sure it's probably running as it should. I also want to get the bars off, I want to get the lamp off and the horn off. Just give all the kind of bright work a really good clean, kind of a bit of a resto mod, give it, see where it gets to. Uh, and then yeah, I'll film it as I go, keep you all posted. Hopefully this was of interest to some of you guys. Uh, if it is, let me know. I'll just carry on kind of documenting my project and what I'm up to. Thanks for watching. Cheers everyone.